starting in like one minute, guys. all right all right all right i think i'm all ready to go hopefully unless i'm forgetting something which is kind of likely uh oh too low how's music volume there is that good that should be good i think i don't think that's too loud right right mods let me know let me know if you think music's too loud how's everybody doing happy friday volume good dope thank you joss uh, what's going on? Uh, you know, usual, I'm gonna cook myself up some rogue energy real quick. Uh, I have no idea how long we're gonna go today. I'm thinking two hours is how long we're gonna stream today, but honestly, I have no idea. I think this game is gonna be really good. I've avoided every single amount of gameplay that I could have seen. Uh, for those of you that have seen Dispatch, um, which is the horror game that we played where you're a cop and you're kind of like directing people on what they should do to not die. It's kind of like that, except we're a radio show host. So, kind of similar. But I heard this one's pretty good. It's got some puzzles in it, so I'm gonna need chat's help, chat's help because you guys know I'm absolutely horrible at puzzles and everything like that. But, um, yeah, I don't even know how long it'll take to beat. It might take longer than two hours, might take less, but we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm drinking, uh, it's 6 p.m. for me right now, so it's not early, but I'm a little tired. Yeah, this should be fun. A uh, few things I want to talk about. Uh, if you're going to question the carpet in the background, I just got this carpet like a few minutes ago. Uh, someone gave my dad the carpet and my dad didn't want it so he gave it to me and now we have a carpet in here Which might help with the sound a bit might help dampen the sound a tiny bit, but we'll see pretty pretty decently sized Hold on. There you go. You get the full the full scale of the size of it there So I'm gonna have to roll that out uh, later after stream Then also uh, for those that didn't see on the IG I posted this guy on Instagram Does everybody like him? What do you guys think? It's the mimic from the mortuary's assistant. Do you guys think he's cute? Yes or no? Yes or no? You think he's cute? You think he's cool? He's going with the gang in the back, so... He's here with us permanently. Wait until you hear what I bought um, that's coming in September. It is massive, and it's going on the it's going on the bed back there. Needs to... Nah, I, I, I agree. I love the mimic, but he definitely got to get a teeth brushing real quick. Yeah, they only made um, 446 of them. So that was one of my like favorite games, even though the endings are a little bit iffy to me. It was still one of my favorites. So had to had to cop that. Um, also, what else was I going to say? That's something else I want to talk about. Um, new analog horror video should be out tomorrow. After my pain and suffering, which is going to be me up till 3 a.m. tonight finishing it because I've been spending all day on it. Should be up tomorrow. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a little confusing, but entertaining. So and then I'm still working on Gemini Home Entertainment. That video is literally agonizing to edit, but also 
I am cooking right now. It is so hot in my room right now. I meant to put on the AC before stream, but I can't put it on now because you could hear it completely on my mic from where from where the AC is now. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Let's see how loud it is. Can you hear it? <laughs> I feel like, wait, you couldn't hear it? I can't tell if anybody's who's being sarcastic. Uh, the tattoo is my logo, the EM. So I think what the problem is, is that it's, my mic just kind of goes silent if it doesn't detect like any very loud noise right in it but once i talk you'll be able to hear the ac while i'm talking and that just bothers me so we're gonna keep it off i'll just die from pete eventually during the stream but all right enough of me talking i've been chanting for too much let's open up killer frequency i'm excited to play this i'm praying to god that this is good praying oh god damn it's a little loud Praying this is good. Praying this is good. Devil Casanova, what's going on? How are you? I'm very overwhelmed by chat right now. By the time I finish reading a sentence, I read another one. <laughs> I didn't get to reply to the previous one. Yes, it'll be good clickbait if we die on stream. Immortal Marquis dies from heat live on stream. And not that the clickbait would matter because I'll be dead, but... Whether white text panels will automatically display showing plain text translated into the currently selected language. I have no idea what they mean by that. Vsync off. Frame limit. I'm gonna... Cap at 60. Just to be safe. Um, I think we're pretty good volume wise. All right. So quick rundown for those that uh, didn't hear me say this before. What this game is about is you are a radio show host and you, you know, people call in to the radio show, but they're being stalked by a killer and they're going to tell you their situation and you're going to have to direct them to survive. Like you're going to have to tell them what to do to survive. Um, that's all I know. <laughs> I have not seen gameplay of this yet, so we'll see, but let's just jump in. Okay, not a good sign. I'm starting in an alley. What's going on, Robert? How are you? Yeah, I don't know why their life is on our hands. I don't know why they'd be calling a radio station, but Hey, Max, what's going on? Thank you for the dollar. I appreciate it, my friends. Guys, if you didn't see on my IG story yesterday, Max uh, did a fan art for us, and it was very, very nice. Very, very nice. Be sure to go check that out. Ooh. Damn, I can interact with everything. I'm already able to interact with the dumpster. Okay, sensitivity's gotta go down. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, let's put that at like 25. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, WSD to move. Awesome. Uh, picking up objects with left click. Can I throw it? Oh, I can only gently place things? That's so stupid. Oh. Oh, it didn't break. Object interaction. You could hold two objects, swap the objects between hands, F to drop objects. Oh, R to throw objects. Come on, man. All right. What is... Oh, that's unreadable. I was going to say, what does that say? This is not the best starting setting. I thought we were going to start in the uh, radio place. Hey, who that? Should I start running? No way I die this early, right?
Evil Lucius, thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate it. Dummy Gummy, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you guys so much. Also, my rat name Remy says hi. Hello, Remy. Is volume good, by the way? I probably asked that three times already. All right, control to toggle crouch. Oh, there's a button. Okay, maybe it's not a button. Yep, volume is good. All right. Cool, cool. I love how I can open all these dumpsters and there's nothing in any of them. Boring. Hello? I love your bits, Mark. It's also my rap name. Remy says hi. <laughs> That's the killer of the game. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? Oh, I'm not alone. You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs? <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Guys, there's Reggie a lot of buttons. Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Bro. This looks like this is going to be so complicated. <laughs> Fam. Oh. Damn, nothing breaks in this game. It's no fun. It is like a Borderlands style type. Okay. Uh, do I need a tutorial on how to use the DJ desk? Yes. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty. This is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubularants. Let's start. Zayn, I'm de I am definitely butchering that. But thank you so much for the for the dollar. I appreciate it. Thank you so so much. I really do appreciate it. Record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. <gasps> Chat, which record are we picking? The Hang Ups? The Word? Storm Riders? Stab in the Twilight? Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record. Can you shut up? I'm turntable. trying to look it for one. Look it for one. <laughs> David Scopio, The Flow, The Late Night Lurkers. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Taunts, thank you for becoming a member. Much the appreciated, my friend. The record box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. Pick a All record right. and stick it on the turntable. We're going with Mr. Business. Play. He said Storm Riders. Okay. <laughs> Can I? It won't. There we go. Okay, put it on the. There we go. We're getting there slowly. Got it. Has become Great. A member. Now turn it off. Stop. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to Young take Scarecrow your call on. A member. Young Scarecrow, thank you for becoming a member. And Dummy Gummy, thank you for the $10. You're my favorite YouTuber. Keep up the amazing videos. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate the support. And thank you for being here today. I'm one. And thank you for the 10 What'd she say? <laughs> We're going to take a long time to get into this. L something line one. Line one is the leftmost button. Okay. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great. And button two works just the same. 
So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer heart. line? You are my favorite like I said, YouTuber. Keep the up Peggy the amazing button. videos. Heart. I gotta figure out how to get those alerts to not be so delayed. Zion, thank you again for another dollar. I still feel like I'm butchering your name, but thank you so much. Button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Damn. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an Maybe we should have skipped. turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster? Ha. You spent all that time telling me about the Peggy one now? Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. This... Am I dumb? It's the thing covered in buttons. Oh. Okay, cool. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Okay. Cool. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get sure the controls are. now. Coming in for landing. Local time? Uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. So Reggie's the boss? Okay, you're live in three, Ray 11 two, has become a member. Ray 11, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the crew. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Now. Cheyenne, gotcha. Gotcha. Cheyenne. And Dummy Gummy, thank you for another $5. How do I become a member? You could have used the five bucks to become a member. Um, basically, it's at the bottom of the screen where it's near the subscribe button. It'll say join and you could join off there. Some people say they don't see it sometimes, though. I think it's like a YouTube glitch. Ash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. <laughs> Sounds we like a very dumb guess game. Why they're screaming? Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Forrest hey, really doesn't want to do this. Play the tape. I used to oh. have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be. Why does everybody love to scream right outside of my door? Your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you Evolution, yesterday. Evolution, thank you for becoming a member. And Timothy, thank you for the dollar and 23. Forrest, I you do have it. the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peg, oh, guys, where do I put the tape in? Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I I don't have the tape. It oh. may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... I have to scream? <laughs> this is stupid. Really? Peggy, you want you want me to scream. You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of scream and let it rip. Oh god. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. 
Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. All right, chat, which scream are we doing? The perturbed Yeti scream, falling from cliff scream, or the drowning scream? Cheyenne, thank you for another 249, and Dummy Gummy, thank you for another $2. Man, it's not showing. Yeah, YouTube for some reason doesn't show it sometimes. I don't know why. Yeah, if, if you if you open it on, on the computer, it should definitely show up, but for some reason on the app, it doesn't sometimes. Yeti, drowning, drowning, drowning. Ooh. I see a lot of yet. It's either the Yeti or the drowning. Uh, let's go drowning. That was terrible. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Should I introduce the song? Yes. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Yeah, this is a bit of a long intro, but I'm sure it's going to be good once we get through it. We just have to know how to do everything. Can we, can we get a phone call in? I'm kind of curious to hear what people say. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Yay! Time to turn the music off. Okay. Uh. Welcome to 189.16 the scream caller you're talking to forrest nash what's going on with you tonight forrest thank god i made it through my name is leslie harper i'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for gallows creek um are you welcome to the show leslie are you calling in to guess that scream as a 911 operator i bet you may have an educated guess what no look I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, <laughs> I really don't think this is a prank. Uh, why is she calling me, though? Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Where are the other officers? I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three, but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. 
Forrest, I have routed all 911 calls to come in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean. I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. It's kind of crazy to say me? live on the radio. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Um... The sheriff? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Skyler, what's going on? Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Ugh. Okay, so apparently the situation is that the sh there's only like three cops in the whole town. Uh, one of them's not around. Well, there's like four, I guess. Uh, one of them's not around. The Sheriff is dead. One's locked in a holding cell right now, and the other one is trying to get the one in the holding cell out. And yeah, so that's the situation that we're dealing with at the moment. Don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff I'm Matthews such a genius. save his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Like, this shouldn't be my job. Oh, uh, I can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm quitting KFAM if this is a prank. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Well, that's why it's a Leslie fam. Was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I, well, I really hope this is the only True. call like this we get. Same. Am I Come getting on, paid for Martinez. this? There we go. We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Okay, so she's gonna go to Henderson to get back up, but she's also bringing the one and only cop that we have. Okay. Uh, Cheyenne, thank you for the dollar. And Dummy Gummy, thank you for the five. Imagine being a host of a talk show and this happening to you. Yes, yeah, like the. This is like the worst thing that could probably happen to you. My only problem is though, are all the calls going to be over the radio? Like, wouldn't everybody be able to, be able to hear that? Or did I miss some solution to that? It's the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No, no way. This can't. Oh, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? 
right? With that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was the name of the killer is the whistling man. I'm sorry. That is so not intimidating. The serial killer back in the 50s wore that mask. <laughs> but he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... So it's a copycat killer. Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Lock the doors. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Oh, I don't like how there, some of the dialogue okay, options are timed. My car is torched. We need to think. Also, Skylar, thank you for the $2. Uh, Timothy, thank you for the 5 And uh, I believe that is it. I believe I'm caught up with all the other ones. Oh, and Evil Lucius, thank you for the gifted membership. I saw that before, too. I appreciate that. I can whistle, by the way. Uh, run for it. Hide in the station. Take a police cruiser. Take a police cruiser, yeah. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah, yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any. Uh, just. I don't think they should lock themselves inside because I feel like he'll try. He'll get in yes. somehow. Got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. I'm a genius. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. <sighs> Yeah, don't you like guns, people? Guns. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Okay. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The oh, sheriff must that's have not a good gun, if he right? has a gun. Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I. Shit. It's yeah, it's empty. empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. It's got. There must be a dude this this cop that I'm talking to right now has to actually be so stupid or like the, These are very obvious options. I'm giving here. You're at a police station I'm sure there's got to be other guns lying around cop cars like there's got to be a lot like come on now <laughs> Weapon lockup in the station, right? Yeah, isn't she the 911 operator that you call? How does she not know these solutions? <laughs> like, could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. No. Yeah. No. Uh, shit. None of the keys work. That's not good. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. What if we just taser? All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? I'm going. We taser, right? Taser. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. Also, uh No, no. I got to scroll up in the chat to see who you got a member. Uh Bernice, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just going to grab I almost missed that. Martinez and then Wait. Do you hear that? N no. No. I I can't hear anything. Exactly. Uh, can you still see him? You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. No, I don't see him anywhere, but I can see the car. Squad car three. It's right there. Mm. I don't okay. know about that. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <sighs> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? I'm not sure about that. So, here we go. No, I don't think you Again, should now. You're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. 
if I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. I don't know about that. God, that I sounded hope like she that was not gonna this. end well. <sighs> you know, I've gotta say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. No. Hello? Forrest? Oh. Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Uh, uh, uh we're here. We're here. Leslie, so I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over? Sorry about the CB chat. <laughs> Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Debbie Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. What if he's in the back of the car or something? Get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Uh Leslie, you need to go. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Leslie, are you too okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. You made the right decision. Oh my chat. god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Yeah, you are Leslie, clearly not made for the field. To get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Where am I again? That we're two to three hours away from the nearest town? Two to three hours each way? We have to fill in for that long. That's the way it is. I'll be back as fast as I can. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. <laughs> Hold on, dude. Folks, Where are you headed here? We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now... Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. I'm not putting anything on. Where is the police station? It says that we're we're here. This is our radio station. That's where we are. But where is like where were they just now? Play a record, Forest. <laughs> that was the ambulance driving past my house. <laughs> Bottom corner? Yeah, it says fire station, though. I better put a record on. All right, all right, enough, enough. All right, somebody pick one. Uh, 198X, David Scopo, The Flow, or Late Night Lurkers. What's going on, Anthony? Welcome in. All right, I'm going with, uh... Dead air is a crime, Forrest. Late night lurker. Oreo, thank you for the $5. Love the content, Marcus, especially the analog hard videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much for the five, and thank you so much for stopping by the stream. We got more analog hard videos coming tomorrow. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really? Of course the sheriff's office was behind the sign. Please say it's gonna take her four hours. 
This guy's gonna kill that's half not the that town far from hours. us. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know. I just <sighs> who is this whistling man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s, Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. Just eh, urban spooks killed more. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him. And he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess okay, inevitably this killer is gonna come here, especially if he knows about this radio, uh, especially if he just heard all that or finds out that we are directing people, he's definitely gonna end up coming here eventually. If, who knows how soon too. So. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight, could be around 35. 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Th <laughs> Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know, before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people. Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna Damn, learn a lot about Damn, how did my career go so tonight, bad? Huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take Yay. it when you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Can I hang up? <laughs> That'd be so funny. Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Accept request. I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe. All right, there's no way this is the killer. A sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? There's to no way. This us. has to be a troll. I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese. Dusted pretzels, or I'll cut your face off. All right, can I hang up on this clown? Goddamn kids! I'm cutting them off. Thank you. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, we also want a mega gold. For anyone just tuning in, we do <laughs> in fact have an actual killer. <laughs> out in the streets tonight anyway this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with 
with your doors and windows locked. All right, what are we playing now? Can I? What are we playing now? Someone pick, someone pick. Um, the hangups, the word, or a star in the twilight. Come on, Forrest, put some music on already. Oh wait, I'm seeing the flow a lot. All right, I'll do the flow now and then we'll do uh, 198X after. Yo, Peggy, if you don't shut your mouth over there, Watch the attitude. Peggy. The hell was that? Kids Can I leave? To be a killer who right now is stalking the town. I want to leave. It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. Let me explore. Kids pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie No, that that's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Oh my God. Let's do this. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, that's off. right. Sorry, my bad. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Well, he's okay, dead. Right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name, and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. <laughs> Just killer hopes. Well, actually, they're not coming. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me, knife in hand. Oh God, it's actually happening. Where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least, so I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. <sighs> Part of me wants to get someone killed on purpose. <laughs> like just to see what would happen but also i feel like we'll get a good ending if we make everybody live <sighs> now nah, go back and find your keys can you go back and find your keys oh i'm not going back out there i oh he's close <gasps> Well, I don't know and how to do that, to so... Wait, 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 I don't... Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic and... Savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. As promised. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. <gasps> Yay! Chad, we're getting to explore! <laughs> that was heavy. What is this? Oh, is that... Is that like a napkin? Holder? Are those dead bugs? Oh, someone gotta clean this place up. All right, all right. I thought it was a toaster too, right? Um. <laughs> okay. Damn, what's up with the leak? 
mouse trap. I'm not getting in there tonight. What's in here? Secret doors already? Imagine the killer was just like right here. Wait. Okay. Ugh. Leaks everywhere, man. Can I go to the bathroom? Kinda. Just trying to see if we can find anything of interest. What's this? GC High wins the big game, 28 to 20. Nice, go GC High. So many locked doors, so few keys. All right, we got office here. Ah, yes, lots of information here. Lots of information. Awesome. Damn, I could really grab. That was kind of loud, right? Creepy hour. Craft and work. I don't think that's exactly what we're looking for, though. Big game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing that I can read. Uh, dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. Okay, that doesn't help. Gallo Creek Chili Cook-Off Champion. Okay, yeah, wrong desk, I think. Nothing helping here. Nothing here. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm seeing stuff about trucks. I, I got a wrench. Can't really help with that right now. This has to be important. I borrowed your car theft magazine. Oh, that it's in the bathroom. Okay. What was this? Roller Ricky's roller break. Okay. All right, so the magazine's in the bathroom. Gotcha. That's all I needed to know. Okay, so basically the premise of this game so far is that we are a radio show host and the 911 line is directed to the radio show. So anybody that calls 911, we have to help them survive a serial, a serial killer that's on the loose. This looks useful. And right now there's a woman in a car. She lost her keys. She's hiding from the killer and we need to tell her how to start her car up without the keys. I got some object tray. Place items in the tray to hold them while on calls. What? Where? Where? Where's the object tray? Am I crazy? Oh. Okay. I didn't expect it to sit on there like that. Can we go back to the Did car? You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. I was expecting like an actual tray or something. That doesn't. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look like a tray. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <sighs> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Wait, I didn't actually get to read what's... Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Unscrew the steering column. Hit the steering wheel with the hammer. All right, this... Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. I don't. <laughs> I can't actually read it. Screws. Okay. Covers off. Wait. Like, I can't turn it around. <laughs> How 
I flip this thing? Hold on, controls. There's got to be something. Reset objects. Oh, that's just in the room, probably. Okay, just left click. No, that's not. That's what I'm thinking. There's got to be like some way to turn it around somehow. It just says inspect object E. Like this is okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Technically it was not wrong. Uh, check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. Okay. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay, we can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Okay. If there's a four before a three and no seven in the number, okay, that's wrong. If there's a six anywhere, then it doesn't start with a five. If there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six, red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and. Woohoo! <gasps> buddy! Fantastic work, baby! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! Okay, um. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Oh, that's it. We're chilling. We did it, Forrest. We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. All right, somebody pick. New one, new one. Uh, we got Late Night Lurkers, Stab in the Twilight, The Hangups. I don't know, someone just pick one. We did uh, 198X already. I think that was the last one we did. All right, Brian says Stab in Twilight. Let's do it. Hmm. What song should I play? Let me shush it. I still can't believe this is happening. Right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Okay. Um, give me a quick second. I'm going to run to the bathroom and I'll be right back. I'm going to be quick. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy this other music. Hey, I have to go frown, but have a good time. Love your vids, Marcus. Heart. Thank you, dummy gummy. I can't. For some reason, the elevator music is gone. <laughs> dummy gummy, though, I hope you have a good rest of your night. Thank you so much for coming through today. I appreciate the support. Seriously, thank you. Um, all right, I'm just going to have to put on another song for you guys. Be right back.
We back. Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or forced as a douche. Hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and uh friendly, usually. If you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? I pray. That's crazy. Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest? She's she's a little annoying. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. That'd probably be a good. I think I'd be fine if the game didn't have Peggy. <laughs> to be honest. 
<laughs> like she's got to have some some purpose to the story later, right? Because <laughs> I feel like we don't really need her. Not to be rude, but Connor, what's going on? Welcome in. Grunts, how are you? My day's been going good. Hope your day's been good as well. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Idea. Oh. Twelve forty-two. Caller on line one. Um. So again, for people that are just joining in, right now there's a serial killer on the loose in the town. People are calling the radio show to, like, as if we're nine one one, and they're kind of asking what we do. Like, we're trying to get them away from the serial killer. We're trying not to get them killed. You're about to see. Okay, oh. Forrest, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of one eighty nine point sixteen, The Scream, and tonight's nine one one stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Let's wow, go. Ryan. That's really good of you, but you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. This guy is doing Sounds an ad. great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, no, no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. <laughs> oh, he said to die for. I just got that. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Can I hang on? I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer. This guy's pizza literally doing deal. an ad right Wait a minute. now. <laughs> Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? There's no way. There. No. Oh, yes. Yes. Sure. I don't, but we're going to figure it out together. Is this an ad? Done. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Yes. Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. I cannot believe I'm doing that. The, tarantula, the speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bull. Oh, it's 1987. I don't know if they said that before. After only five 30 minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Are we done? Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The Tornado Technique and Karate Love Me. Call today. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I 
wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. I, uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Oh. Welcome to The Scream with me, Forrest, Forrest Nash. Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? <sighs> Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Thank you Sheriff for the $5 Matthews super chat, Lauren. Ted? Much appreciated. What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. <sighs> We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse than Can I just hang him up? Can I hang up? Let him find and out the hard way? punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... <clears throat> Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. By Murray's time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Oh, did he just see him? You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm Sound like here. something just printed. Freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. 
Let me go check the fax machine. Or is it in here? Am I crazy? Go, Forrest! Oh. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be okay, right then let me go. Jeez. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Okay. This must be it. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> okay, I like this. Getting a little more uh, detail now for these. Okay, so... Alright, where is he? He's got to tell me where he's at. Put it down! Hello? Hey, did you get the fax? The, oh, yeah. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line oh, with this guy Maurice. Does. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room the hall leading up to the boardroom and now he's in the office next door okay it's now or never this plan of yours better work i'm ready on my end forest again we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move maurice somewhere safe so what extension should i call uh zero three right because then he can make it to the stairs the editor's office. What do we think, chat? Because if he's in, if he's in the boardroom, right? Did he say he was in the boardroom? <laughs> That's gonna be messed up if I put him into the ed if I put him in the wrong room. Yeah, editors. Okay, we're doing editors. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Yeah, he said the boardroom is the only one he hasn't checked. And you can go into... Yeah, the kitchen of the archives. I'd say kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Next goal right now is 200K. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Oh, so that was good. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. Awesome. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Okay. Awesome. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> but now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we Oh, could... he barricaded the oh. stairs with the cabinets? Calling coming. You ready? Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh Right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Ooh, can you lock him, in a, lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the 
damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Unless you barricaded no, the door while no, no, no. he was it. in a room. The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Not the time, Peggy. Wow. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Yeah, how are you gonna get Any in that room? Any ideas, Forrest? Use yourself as bait sounds crazy. Um, use a radio? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. Uh, mods, can I get a proper Discord link in the in the chat? Apparently, the Nightbot one is expired. Is it actually expired? It doesn't work. That's kind of weird that I worked for a couple weeks and now it's not working. Should be archives actually I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search I'll call you back once I've got the radio we're gonna save him Forrest heck if this works we might even save the whole town <sighs> don't get excited yet there's still a lot to do before we celebrate let's just see how it goes first what do you mean he's not out of there yet we still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. No, 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 Maurice, no! Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! That's you just... Point. Oh, that's a good point. But wait! We're the radio! Yeah, you can change we can it to our channel. Until you're ready. Yep. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? 189.16, The Scream, Gallows Creek's best and only phone-in talk show, with me, Forrest Nash. And me, Peggy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Wait, where is... Is 
send him to the... Send him to the archives? Oh, wait. No, no. I feel like the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Hmm. No, that made me so unsure. Wait, no, you, a lot of you... Oh, screw it, whatever. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll impersonate Mr. Ruller, Mr. Russell. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. I didn't think Ooh, it was that call bad. coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. <laughs> Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. It's got to be the cabinet. Under the desk, he said he'll be seen. The cubicles are all the way over, over there. I'm going cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. Going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Can I play a sound and just get him killed? Listen to your old pal Russell Forrest. And shut up! Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Forrest Dash, you son of a bitch! I told you to... <laughs> Forrest, he's... He's... <laughs> Out of Prince is crazy. That is such a fucked up way of saying it. <laughs> wow i actually feel bad apparently i spoke too soon i thought the prompt only came up because he had enough time damn out of print <laughs> <sighs> let's put on a song give us some time to recover I think that would be for the best. Slimey, what's going on? Yes, my real name is Oops. Marcus. And thank you for the gifted we'll membership. Back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. That's so crazy. R.I.P. to homie. Maurice. I mean, he... Come on, let's be real. He's kind of a douche. I mean, uh... Unfortunate. Oh, I gotta put on a song. Uh, let's put on, um, the word. Get it? He ran out of print, word, kind of similar. Well, God damn, this music this is going to be a long night. 
Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. No, absolutely not. Are you sure about that? You're not so Please. scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. You're sorry? Why? Did you do it? Of course not! I only... I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was Dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. That's crazy. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Um. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. That's not opening. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Oh, there's a roof? I wanna go out on the roof. Who knew we had a downstairs? I thought we explored everything. A tape. Play, Play me on, on air. air. Huh. That definitely can't be good. Uh, anything else cool down here? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ooh! No, I'm not, doing, I'm not doing this. I thought about it. I need a key to get in there. There's a staff room. There's a lot of little hidden rooms here. Oh, there's an exit back there. We should remember that. We should remember that shot. I'm playing it on the air. Well, we know the killer is definitely aware now that we're uh, on air. Oh, I... Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Put it on, I guess. Let's see what it is.
Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lives. Time to sit there. I will punish you. Oh, it's using our voices. I did not enjoy nah, that. Nah, the killer got some time on his hands. What I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Uh, uh... Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how the killer could get from the newspaper to KFAM so quick, but... Be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. What do you mean? Give it's... us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. He doesn't know how he could get there so quick. It was across the street. Wasn't that far. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. <laughs> I need you for a second. So all random. right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches padded. Um, by the way, whatever the next event is in the game will probably be the last one that we'll do for the stream. We're probably going to have a lot more of this game left. Oh, I got to put on a song. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. Just go get it. Play me ASAP off air. Huh? friends i love roddy i will always find you was my song i wish we still had it in rotation oh my god i can't believe you know roddy snatcher and i can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single we have to play final breath where is it i don't know they mailed it to kfam not to me then it's got to be downstairs at reception man i can't believe barbara didn't say anything i mean well if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay. I don't know. I feel like there's a little too much dialogue, to be honest. Like, I know the game relies on that, but some of, like, the banter is just, like, enough, man. I'd be so much happier if we just got rid of Peggy, and then, like, in between the calls, there was, like, things that happened just around the office. Kind of like this, but just that didn't have to do with Peggy. Just, it's a little too chatty for me. Needs a key. 
Speaking of things being too chatty, I did not listen to what she had to say. I know she had said head downstairs. <laughs> Where is it? Did she give a key or something? Nah, Peggy is not a shoddy. Not a big fan of Peg. Yeah, it's, it was at reception. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like we don't really need her. Like, she's just a lot of extra dialogue. Like, she has, like, an idea here and there, but it's, like... I feel like we could have just had us think of that. What is this? The amazing maze maze. This is reception, no? Ooh, umbrella. I don't... Hey, I don't hate her. I just, I don't know. I don't see a point to her. She just talks a lot. Lock. For now. To the right? Oh, wait. Ah, this there we go. It. Final breath. My it didn't even look like a record. Grows. Yes, I do, Grunt. Did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Um. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Please. There we go. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. And then we didn't even hear a he lyric. Is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. All that, and I'm not even gonna hear the song. Every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. <sighs> I don't know. I think I'm done, chat. Actually, I'll hear the beginning of this next call. Time to uh. turn the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Screen. That makes sense. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Three today, and man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, and most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Feels like a weird night to celebrate, but uh, congrats. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Prove it. Come face me, a true warrior at the gallows waste disposal plant. Guess what? Oh boy, here we go. I got all the tapes and 
Master Robbie's dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm calling it chat. I think I've had enough. I like the concept of the game. I like the style. It's just... I don't know. There's just... Too much talking. It drives me insane. I would have enjoyed that Maurice part so much more if there just wasn't so much dialogue between doing the actions. Like, I just get, <laughs> like, I get bored by the time that we end up doing the next, like, making the next choice. So, it's not even, like, the cringe, like, I don't care about, like, the, like, the, uh, the jokes or anything in it. It's just, oh my god, there's so much banter. It's like, dude, this guy's gonna die, like, we're making jokes and stuff, and it's like, enough. <laughs> like, but, I don't know, I'd like to see the end. So maybe, maybe we'll play it through to finish it next time, but we'll see. But like I said, I, th I think I would just like without Peggy, if you cut out Peggy, you cut out like half the dialogue in the game. And if the game was just like, listen, I pick up a call, I help the person through it. And then we like do stuff around the office to maybe prep for the next call. That works for me. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, but I think that's going to be it for today. I'm not sure when the next stream will be. I want to say Monday, most likely Monday. Uh, and we're going to be announcing a fan art contest, most likely on Monday. We've been getting a lot of people putting in fan art in the discord and stuff. So I think we're going to do a contest soon um, with a prize and everything for the winner and stuff. But be sure to join the discord to, to be able to hear about that. So I'll keep you guys updated once me and the mods get it more organized and whatnot and get all the rules and stuff but um again thank you guys so much for coming to the stream if you did enjoy the live don't forget to drop a like on it down below um new video hopefully should be out tomorrow i'm praying that i get it done tonight praying 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 uh and also thank you to everybody for all the super chats and becoming members and stuff like that i appreciate it so much you guys have no idea and thank you for coming through to the stream uh next time i'll try to have some a little more active horror games i like to do like slower ones like this sometimes just because it's a little enjoyable to just like sit down and chill and go through it but i don't think this is necessarily my speed either but we'll see what we do for the next live uh thank you guys so much for coming through and i'll see you in the next one peace